It's beautiful to see the, the tapestry. And I just think of this, I want to know what this picture is about. But it, your life is, is like the cover of your latest CD. All the beautiful colors and, and, and kindness, God's kindness through so many things to shape the musician and the influencer yeah. that you've become. Yeah. Well, 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 the, the word kindness of the album is we really, really focused on, on the word kin. You know, and there's, there's, a, there's the, the behind kindness is, is just a, an internalized kinship. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a deeper word than nice. Um, you, know, you know what I mean? Or charitable. It, 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 it really, it, it, it comes from really understanding that we are profoundly related. It's not a metaphor, it's actually true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's not, you're not like my sister, you are in the, yes. in the economy of God, you know, exactly. clearly. And so in this particular one, there's a harmony of color. There's, um, um, it's beautiful. The thing I find interesting about it is it's rather sentimental image. I mean, a friend of mine looked at this and he objected. He says, you know, there's a, there's a, like, a, there's a, there's bank, a coach, there, you know, there's, here. but there's probably a train robber around here. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? And it's too sentimental of an image, but I liked that because that's where we start with a word like kindness. Everybody thinks mm -hmm. of it as a sentimental thing, but it is deeper. Mm -hmm. Kindness is a much deeper word. And the songs here, some of course are your stories in yeah. song and some of your favorites. Uh, my, my eyes went immediately to, to uh, was it a morning like this? Oh yeah. One of my favorite Easter songs. Well, that's written by Jim Krogert, who I've, he's a buddy of mine. And um, he, that's a great story. Sandy Patty ended up uh, recording, you know, recording that song. It was a you know, million seller and, and I've recorded a bunch of his songs. He's, he's one of my favorite, I, I, I don't know if I know if I'll ever meet a greater songwriter. He's a hospital chaplain in Chicago. Really? Yep. And I've got to mention signpost music. I didn't even check with you, um, but we've had musicians here who've been mentored by you. And yeah, you know, signpost for years was we, we were sort of in a position that we were able to sort of help young, because you know the industry. Uh, the, the, uh, there's this huge sort of industry in the states that sort of have, has defined how music can be done. Um, mm -hmm. And in those days, you know, I, I, I couldn't quite find my way in it. And so we, we developed, Dave, my manager, and I developed sort of a, an, an independent from the industry a way of, of making music. You know, you have to monetize it. You know, if you can't pay your bills, you can't do it, you know. Um, and so... But how much do you have to compromise yeah, yourself? Yeah, there's, there's all those things. And we found a way of, do, of making it work. And so, so, we, so as that became more and more successful, you know, it really became important to us that we share the... the sort of the, the wisdom of that and trying to help young artists find ways outside of the, in, the, the larger industry. There's nothing wrong with larger industry, but there, there's a press that homogenizes um, everything because basically it's how you market, you know, is, mm -hmm. is you homogenize your audience, you homogenize the product, and then it's an easy marketing, it's, you know, it's, it's a nice marriage. There's nothing wrong with it, but the minute we start losing real um, difference and distinctiveness, we lose something about the truth of creation. You know what I mean? And so homogenization ultimately can't be a good thing, you know, but it can be harmony of, of different things. And, and you do important. it so well. Uh, any of your children providing harmony in the, on this? Um, you know what? My, my, my son has a little bit of, uh, uh, on this and my, um, uh, in terms of doing some engineering work. How old my, are your children today? Well, Sarah, who's not on this, unfortunately, um, is a beautiful singer. She's 26. She's a mom, two kids. Jesse did a lot of engineering work on this. And then um, he's 23. And then my 21-year-old son plays a bass track on it. He's a great player. He's playing all the clubs now that I used to play 30 years ago. <laughs> what a wonderful yeah, story. Yeah. Maybe a book sometime. I'm thinking of it. You've got I'm, great My stories. buddy Tim Huff is, uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of watching how he, he's been writing and, exactly. and, uh, and it's like, okay, there may be a way of doing this that, that's, that's different, you know, that I can maybe find my own voice. So I'd like to write, but we'll see. Whatever you do next, don't stay away so long. <laughs> Thank Please. you, Maura. Okay. How beautiful a day can be when kindness touches it. Do yourself a kindness and check out the new Steve Bell CD. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> we'll be right back. Married or single, stay-at-home mom or CEO, all women were designed by God to be in relationship. Join the Sofa Sisters this fall as Full Circle presents an exciting women's conference. Vibrant relationships with God, family, and community. Guests include best-selling authors Bill and Pam Farrell with worship and music by Steve Bell. Oakville, October 15th, London, November 12th, and Barry, November 19th. Visit FullCircleTV.com for early bird ticket pricing, download posters, and invite your friends. Well, not only have the uh, Sofa Sisters seized Steve Bell,
Uh, you have a wonderful opportunity, if you're in the Toronto area, to participate in a very unique event. We have spoken about it here on the program, but I do want to remind you to mark your calendar for December 3rd. More than a breathtaking concert and cultural event, this will be a stirring evening of inspiration and a public introduction to Canada's newest charitable adventure, the Hope Exchange. Uh, Tim Huff was with Steve Bell on the program talking about this evening. I have been to one like it with these gentlemen and um, well it's a treasure forever in my heart and uh, it's Massey Hall. You can log on to any of those three um, internet sites and get your tickets. December 3rd, 2011. Uh, it's hard to even put into words. Steve talked a lot about valuing of all people. God's made everyone. And you come away from an evening like this humbled, uh, not a dry eye in the place, guaranteed. Beautiful music, beautiful message, and a wonderful ministry being launched.